Ooh, don't look down. <laughs> this place is insane. These are the world's biggest vehicles. Bucket wheel excavators. Grotesque steel monstrosities. They creep across the countryside like an insatiable brontosaurus, gobbling hundreds of thousands of tons of earth in search for coal. They leave deep scars that stretch kilometers across our earth, and at 171 meters long and 50 meters high, this is a factory on tank tracks. It's as menacing as it is destructive. Welcome to the Blue Wonder. Have you seen a lot of dragon emojis in the comments? These are supporters of Fearless and Far. True fear-chasing dragons. I'm trying to build an army of them. My videos here on the channel are supported by my Patreon page, where I help people chase their fears and become their best selves. If you love the content here on Fearless and Far, you should consider supporting me on Patreon. Visit this link, and we'll see you there. And we're in. Welcome to Bagger 258, an abandoned bucket wheel excavator and the largest abandoned machine in the world. If you look at this, these are tank treads. There's four of them. One, two, We didn't come here to walk around it, did we? Let's find a way up. Greg, what do you think? I think this place is uh, surprisingly really photogenic. Yeah? Very well balanced. Yeah. I'm heading up, all right? All right, buddy. Be safe. Always. Check this out. This machine has many names. It's often called Bagger 258, but this is actually false. Its number is actually Bagger 1473. It was a mistake made by early urban explorers. More commonly, it's called the Blue Wonder because it was illegally painted blue by its Polish workers. These workers also covered it with something else. <laughs> Smut all over the walls. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you are, anywhere in the world, what language you speak. I always find porn in the locker rooms. <laughs> if it's an oil rig or a German bucket excavator, all men are the same. <laughs> Unfortunately, for the power room, the doorknob's been broken off. But actually, we could probably get through the window. Another thing about these old corrugated steel floors, sometimes they bow out, so they flip up and you step on them and they bonk, they flip down and they drop like an inch. Always scares the shit. Like that. It scares the shit out of me. Is there a more beautiful thing when doing urbex? Beautiful as this is, let's see if we can find our way to the conveyor belt. You might be wondering, why would you ever invent a machine like this? After World War II, Germany was divided into the East and West as a compromise between the Allies and the Soviets. Both had worked together to overthrow the Nazis, but were now realizing their differences. They decided to split Germany between them. A wall was built, families were separated, and a country divided. This was called the Cold War. East Germany now belonged to Soviet Russia. They called it the German Democratic Republic, or GDR. And on the long list of sins committed in the GDR during this 45-year period, one was the invention of bucket wheel excavation to mine what they called lignite, aka brown coal, to fuel massive power plants. Burning lignite caused extreme air and water pollution. East German power plants spewed thousands of tons of sulfur dioxide into the air, causing acid rain, sickness and environmental destruction. So here we are. This is the front where the excavator is. This railway 
don't trust it. It's on two hinges and I'm afraid this might all move if I stand on it. There's other ways to the front though. So instead of taking a risk and walking along this very sketchy bending stairway, let's find the other way. Whenever in places like this, I like to think back to just 20 years ago when it was fully operational. The gears were whirring. The machine was grinding away at the core of the earth, eating its way across the landscape. People running around, hitting switches. And now it's just quiet. Look at this. Buttons and dials. All right, here's the conveyor we were talking about. If we walk along that, it should be a much safer way to get to where the bucket excavator is. Oh my God, actually, look at this. There's a ladder here that goes all the way to the freaking top. Do we do it? Let's go see if it's safe. It's got a safety cage, it's stable, and I just wanna say before we climb this ladder in the middle of nowhere, I'm a professional. I know it might look like that. Don't say you're just a YouTuber. I know, I'm a YouTuber. But I also take this very seriously. Adventure is my life and it is my lifestyle. So I literally train every single day, whether it be break dancing or rock climbing or jujitsu or just weights or jump training every single day. I'm keeping my body safe so I can do things within my ability. And if it's outside of my ability, I don't do it. So don't be reckless, don't be stupid, don't get me in trouble, don't get yourself dead. So let's climb this amazing ladder to the top. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, don't look down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we made it. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Woo! Deutschland. Danke sehr. Oh. The blue wonder from the very top. This has been an incredible explorer guys honestly if you don't know why we explore abandoned places it's because it really feels like adventure it feels like exploring you go see the eiffel tower in france you're not seeing anything new when you come to these places you don't really know what to expect you don't know what's possible always you try to be safe as much as you can and sometimes you're rewarded it's so it's so interesting to be the only ones here on something so historic i think that's why we travel it's like to be the only person in a place and appreciate it for what it is without the postcards the fridge magnets everything else i just realized something we haven't even seen the most important part of the entire <laughs> explore which is the bucket wheel excavator the whole Thing that makes this thing what it is it's down there we should probably check that out right Okay, so little one two step, let's be safe. Always safe. We're safe. Great, we're safe. Awesome. There, that's the belly. Let's continue. You may be wondering how these machines work. 
The bucket wheel at the front of the machine ingests the earth. This earth also contains coal. This mix would travel up the conveyor belt into a pit furnace. It would fall in there and it would be burned to power the machine. It creates its own fuel. By scraping the surface clean of soil, the underlying coal deposits could be mined more effectively. Okay, we're just getting to the end. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. First of all, mother nature, great placement. Why is, I'm so confused, why? Is this brick? No. Do they cement it to stop it from moving? I just went to put my hand here, I thought it was cement, but this is actually old topsoil. With, it's black because of the coal, look, this is coal. See, coal on the topsoil, of course. Oh no, I know how it works now. Didn't even understand. So, the buckets would bring it up. See, the buckets are hollow. It would dump it into here, and then from here, the conveyors, underneath me is a conveyor, the conveyors would pull it up there. And the reason why there's so much soil here is because literally that's what it was. I thought nature came and dumped all this soil, but no, this is a soil that had been excavated, which is why there's actually a freaking tree here. And so it's supposed to be hollow. This is the last meal, basically, of this giant rusty brontosaurus before it let out its bellow of a swan song and died here in the field. Crazy. And so, why not climb it too? But wait, there's still one last piece we haven't found yet. Oh my god. The driver's seat. Wow, man. This is insane. We found the actual real control room of the Blue Wonder. Oh my sweet lord. Look at this. It's the big man chair with the levers, the buttons, and look at this. It's the, it's the freaking giant chainsaw beside you. You control this entire giant monstrosity from this little pod in the front. You hit the button, you flick the switch, and all of a sudden you're scraping the skin off Mother Earth, raping her for coal, the filthy things we do for coal on this planet. Listen, this has been one of the most epic explorations I've done, but I didn't do it solo. What's going on? What'd you think? This is uh, Jason the Fierce, buddy. If you like a dragon, I must admit. <laughs> he knows the motto, but do you know the motto? Make sure to check out Greg on YouTube. His channel's below and in the description so you can click on it. Make sure to subscribe to us both. If you want to support the channel during these times, you can definitely do that. You don't have to, but if you'd like to, there's a Patreon page where I post extra videos for the super fans out there. If you're a dragon and you're a super fan and you want to chase your fears with me here on the channel, Patreon's the best way to do that. So check it out. Like we both just said, the motto here is chase your fears. And I'll catch you on the next episode here on Fearless and Fox.